Welcome to this fabulous lifestyle radio show where we talk about food, fashion, finance, and foundations of life. We are live on KCAA Radio Broadcasting Network. KCAA is affiliated with CNBC, NBC News, and NBC Sport. We are sponsored by Sheltered Studios, Fire Up Connect, and Building Solid Foundation. I am your host, Lynette LaRoche. And if you've missed any of our previous episodes, we're on KCAA Broadcasting Network, which is affiliated with CNBC, NBC News, and NBC Sports, where we reach over 5 million households in the greater Los Angeles area. And so to ensure that you don't ever miss an episode, be sure to subscribe to the Building Solid Foundations channel where you can stream on Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, and the Android app. And after leading a successful career in the biotech and biopharma industry, where I left a legacy of two drug approvals and building high-performing teams, I continue in my leadership space by helping to develop those who have an interest in pursuing a career in the clinical research industry. I also contract with pre-IPO and smaller biotechs to train their teams on leading edge skill sets um, in the clinical research area to drive forward portfolio. And so I develop leaders as well to ensure that they have the skill sets that are needed to lead teams to greater performance. I am a former trainer at mastermind.com, which was founded by Tony Robbins and Dean Graziosi. I am also a speaker as well as a international best-selling author, and I have an honorary doctorate degree in humanitarianism for my work in empowering women. So today I'm really excited um, to bring you a guest that so many of our audience is going to resonate with. And so our guest today is Maurice F. Martin, and we will be discussing how healing past hurts can be a foundation for, for fulfillment and purpose. Maurice is a sought after speaker, counselor, spiritual life coach, and the former co-host of the TV show, Getting the Word Out. He is a co-host of the Grace Factor podcast, and his second book is Your Butt is Too Big and is Not What You Think. <laughs> And it was the number one release in Christian counseling and Christian faith. And so he also helped others to harness the power of today and love the moment they are in so that they can realize their purpose in order to live their best life. He um, is also in, in 2020, he in a video, The Colorblind, that was featured on YouTube's original Bear Witness Take Action, which had over 5 million views. And he has also been through his fair share of trauma, you know, after masking, you know, his pain in private, you know, like so many people who have gone through childhood um, traumas and, and, you know, he went through battling depression in his 20s. After becoming an award-winning <laughs> vocalist and songwriter, he hit rock bottom and it became very clear to Maurice that there was only one way out. And so he had to let go of what had been holding him back. And now that he's healed, Maurice is on a mission to help and equip others so that they can release their limiting beliefs and become the person they were born to be. So I wanna welcome Maurice to the Fabulous Lifestyle Foundation's radio show. And Maurice, again, I'm excited to have you on our show. I am so excited to be here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Fantastic. And so there's just so much to talk about. Being firstly, um, you know, we're going to jump into your life as a spiritual life coach. But having been successful as a vocalist and songwriter, you know, what led you to this current path, this this profession that you are in now? Mm, great question. You know, one of the things that I say often is that 
it, sometimes it is when you have success that you learn what you're lacking in life. Mm -hmm. And so there was there was moments where I, you know, I was really blessed as a, as a musician and a singer. Mm -hmm. I had a chance to um, open for Earth, Wind and Fire and uh, Lupe Fiasco and a lot of major artists. Um, and then, of, of course, had the, the national licensing deals. But through that time in my life, I was honestly depressed through most of it, anxious through most of it and feeling like something was missing in my life. And so, you know, after my, my career kind of faded out and I was no longer hitting the shows, I was left with me. <laughs> it was me, myself and I, and I had to finally figure out what's really going on with you? Why does nothing make you happy? Why did no accomplishment ever fill you up, right? And I know that I'm not the only person who's been there where you accomplish great things, but you don't feel great about yourself on the inside. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that really was what started this journey for me of, of mm -hmm. not only healing myself, but then realizing, hey, maybe I'm here on the earth to help other people heal as well. Wow. So how did you begin your healing process? I mean, how, how do you know, like, what to do, like, where to go <laughs> to experience this healing? And, and then how you've been able to sustain this, this place of, you know, being healed and uh, enriching yourself to be able to enrich others? I love, I love that question because when you say sustain, isn't that the main part, right? <laughs> that I've known a lot of people who have who have healed things that they've been through, but they've only healed for a moment. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is, you know, I've been around so many people in life, um, in the music industry, in the industries I'm in now as a counselor and, and, a, and a coach, where you see people start to face what they've been through, mm -hmm. but they only face it for a short time and they only feel relief for a short time. And so for me, um, when I say I hit rock bottom, rock bottom for me really looked like not wanting to live anymore, um, trying to, to really decide, do you want to do this life? Do you mm -hmm. want to find hope? Do you want to be happy? Do you want peace or don't you? And yeah. I felt like for me, I had to decide. And so that was a very spiritual journey for me. It was a very, you can't just do this cognitively. You can't just um, go to the therapist and answer their questions, but not open your heart and give the mm -hmm. answers, right? And so I, I went through a, a more than one thing that I turned to, right? The first thing that I turned to was my faith. And that was a new thing for me um, mm -hmm. that, I, that I started to really cling to something greater than me. Mm -hmm. And then I started to say, well, you know what, if I'm going to believe and have the faith that a power greater than me is guiding me and leading me, then if I'm sitting in front of that therapist, I have to believe this is the therapist for me that helps me grow. Anytime I picked up a book, this must be the book that's the next step in me healing. Every conversation that was a heart to heart conversation, I started to go in through these moments saying, if you keep hiding behind the mask, you'll stay stuck behind these emotions. But if you find the way to open up and get to the real you in front of the therapist, in front of your wife, in front of your friends, in front of mm -hmm. your family, if you find the real you, mm -hmm. then the real you can heal and you can have mm -hmm. lasting success. And so that is literally, as I went on my own journey, I started to write it down. Um, and, and as of, of course, I became a counselor. So I started learning the science of it all, right? Um, mm -hmm. Things like cognitive behavioral therapy. It's this mm -hmm. concept that, that your thinking leads to your behaviors. Yeah. So what if we were able to ask the question, what are the origins of your thinking? What are the origins of your heartbreak? What effect have your disappointments had on your psyche, on your confidence, on your ability to say, yes, this is possible for me? And so a lot of that journey has been understanding the inner workings of my thinking so that now I can sit in front of clients and help them understand theirs. Are you reaching deep, Maurice? Reaching deep. <laughs> <laughs> and so you work with successful people. And, and that's the whole thing is... Um, Successful people are no different than people who who might be having experienced success or, you know, living a, a challenging life or maybe they're in poverty or whatever. They have their traumas as well. And so um, how do you why do you think it's, it's so difficult for people um, 
even the successful one, to find joy. And as you also mentioned, here it is, you were like, everything was like really, really going great for you, but you were still feeling like something was missing. So why do you feel it's so difficult for people to find that joy and contentment in their lives? I think oftentimes it's because we haven't built our lives on all of the right things. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying that we haven't built it on any of the right things, but a lot of times we have we have had our eyes set on accomplishments, right? Um, mm -hmm. Once I once I get those job promotions, once my bank account starts to build up, once I get that home, that car, that that spouse, mm -hmm. then I will find happiness in those things. And so the problem is we invest 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years in going after something and we find out on the journey, that's not the true source of happiness. The mm -hmm. true source of happiness contentment, those things come from within. Mm -hmm. And so I've been looking out there to find what is actually inside of me. Mm -hmm. Wow. So what process do you take people through um, who feel that they are always up against challenges and they can't seem to you know, get a break or live a, a struggle-free life? What process would you take a client through? Mm, that's a great question. You know, when I when I talk to people, I, I begin, um, I have a, a seven stage process I walk them through. Mm -hmm. And the beginning of that process, I, I call the evaluation. This mm -hmm. is an opportunity for us to really look at the, the truth of the situation. Mm -hmm. um, I know that it's a really popular phrase um, that, that people use and a lot of gurus use where they say, live your truth. And one mm -hmm. thing that I often tell new clients is you cannot live your truth unless your truth is rooted in the truth, right? And what I mean by that is that sometimes, oh. <laughs> I didn't want to hurt your feelings, uh, you know, it's this concept that I have to be willing to be honest with myself about what what has happened in my life, what I'm feeling in my life, mm -hmm. um, what other people feel about me, I've got to get as honest as possible. Mm -hmm. There's been times in my life when I allowed myself to believe things that weren't true because it helped me feel better and it helped me sleep at night. But ultimately, I started losing sleep anyway, right? Ultimately, I had to go to those drinks. I had to turn to something because I knew really deep down I wasn't totally being honest with myself. So we begin by evaluating where you are in the situation. Then we begin to look at your mindset. So I ask questions and we go through different exercises so you can get an understanding of how have the things that you've been through affected the way you see life? What are you looking for in life? What is the story that you believe about yourself? And ultimately, once we get to that stage, once we know the story you believe about you, we can begin the journey of rewriting the story, right? Setting new expectations, beginning to explore new mindsets and new opportunities for where you might be able to go in your life. So it's a it's not a quick process. It's a hard process. It's it's a grueling process in some ways. Mm -hmm. And what I tell people is my job is to be a spark, right? I don't come in to be the one to change your life and save your life. Mm -hmm. You have to save your life. And exactly. my job is just to be in assistance. Right. Absolutely. Wow. Okay, Maurice, we're going to go for a quick commercial break and then we'll be back um, to continue this, this discussion on how healing past hurts can be a foundation for fulfillment and purpose. Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show, where we talk about food, fashion, finance, and foundations of life. We are live on KCAA Radio Broadcasting Network. KCAA is affiliated with CNBC, NBC News, and NBC Sports. We are sponsored by Sheltered Studios, Fire Up Connect, and Building Solid Foundations. 